Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rafe Gal. This is XCOM 2, and this is Operation Ghost Tooth, which was the Advent Retaliation mission that rudely interrupted when we were trying to keep moving on getting the story done. So, this is another one of those rescue civilian rescue missions. Um, in the interest of spreading out and getting rid of as many things as possible, as fast as possible, I'm actually throwing two sharpshooters in. Um, Brian is our pistol sharpshooter, so he's going to be able to keep moving with the group while Tony stays back and picks people off. Uh, we've got two specialists, um, just to keep everybody's health up. And then we've got uh, Tara and Shane, who are probably our strongest uh, ranger and grenadier overall, just to kind of round it out. Uh, this is listed as a very difficult mission again, and this is still on higher difficulty. Um, I've got two war armor, and I'm actually going to have Brian, since he's going to be our mobile sniper, um, use the wraith suit, which lets him like walk through walls and do the grappling hook thing. So, let's see how this works out. I took a quick look at the the layout of what the, uh, the enemy types are. I noticed there was like berserkers, uh, I want to say codex and archons both. So a lot of somewhat mobile, high health type enemies. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot. You won't have a this is weird. This one. Yeah, this is kind of a weird layout. Okay, so we're going to grab Tony. We want to move Tony in as far as possible so that we can get him into a position where he can start shooting. Because snipers can't move and shoot in the same turn. So, we're going to move him up to this point right here. Double time. Just straight double move right off the bat. See if he gets eyes. <coughs> okay, we can see there's a decent. Let's see, there's a couple civilians here we can get, or we can see, but we can't actually get close enough to do anything. So what we're gonna do next is have Brian move up. Again, see if anything triggers. But then we're going to use the grappling hook. Get him a little bit of extra mobility. Perfect. So. This seems a little bit dangerous. But we haven't triggered anything yet. We've got a pretty good lay of the land. So I'm going to go ahead and have Brian move down here and trigger this guy. And get one civilian out of the way. Then we're just going to move the rest of our team as far as we can. I'm not going to worry about cover right now because we're not getting, uh... There's no enemies that are in sight yet. Oh, that's right. Dan has running gun. These are the types of things that I need to remember that it's hard to keep track of when I have this many people. <laughs> like the extra bonus little things that everyone gets. Okay. So they're going to trigger on their turn instead of on ours, which means that hopefully they won't get actions this turn.
Nice. I'm okay with that. We're probably gonna get something off screen shooting at a civilian. Yep. But we've got one down. We triggered enemy spawns on their turn, which means they don't get to act, which means we kind of get the jump on them. Obviously, the getting the jump on them is somewhat relative here, but... Okay, I'm gonna move... Yeah, we're gonna move Shane up here. Even though he technically doesn't have cover from the back, but now he's behind the guy we need to shoot. <laughs> So now he has that, or now he actually has cover from all the directions he needs. Uh, I think we're gonna have Brian and Tara work together here. Tara's gonna do this. Oh, he's catching on fire, too. Okay. This is not the direction that I assumed the enemies would be coming from. I assumed we were going to be moving more like this direction and not straight this way. So Tony is not in a good spot right now to do what he needs to do. Um... Debating between getting him up here on this roof where he'll have a good vantage but might be not have cover or just moving him forward up here and seeing what he can do to help. I think we're actually going to move him up here to this like corner. Okay, this guy's on fire, so I don't actually have to do anything to him. Um, I think we're gonna actually have Brian move forward here. I'm on it. I'm gonna have him toss a mimic beacon. To draw enemy fire for a turn. Um, yeah. I think that'll do some good and uh, make sure that not every single enemy in sight rushes us. <laughs> Since we did trigger an extra three enemies here that I wasn't expecting. We're gonna have the other two just kind of move forward. Got it, moving. I feel a little bad not being able to get an Overwatch up, but yep, one down. Hopefully, since all these, all four of these are focused on us, they won't be killing civilians. That sounds nasty. That's a sectopod. Okay, I didn't realize they had a sectopod. Glad we got the... We've got three guys that can do some serious heavy lifting, so... Oh! Okay. Was that two separate sectopods or one taking two actions? And they just triggered? So now we've got... Oh boy, six enemies, plus we know there's a sectopod back there that we haven't, and that might be a faceless in there unless they're just like running away. Two down. 
So now there's only two other guys taking actions against us. Oh, that's never good. Those Lancers just seem like they kind of come out of nowhere. That animation may have been terrible, but that could have been way scarier. And at least he got a little bit of... Uh, that retaliation shot should help a bit. Heal him up. Remove the enemy that's right there. Target neutralized. Watch the awkward animation. Actually, let's check with Tony next. There's only so many guys he's going to be able to get a good shot on. And actually, yes. You can get a dead eye on that guy for a lot of damage. Which means now... If Brian rolls max damage here... Not quite. Still pretty good though, all things considered. Wait, he gets another shot? Did I miss something? Uh, yeah, let's, actually no, let's move. Um, yeah, let's have him move, like, over here. On the move. Go, get out of here. Apparently there, it was within a rescue circle that I didn't realize, and, well, even though I didn't realize it was, um. Take out the officer. Apparently Shane has a 91% chance. Which is pretty solid. And more importantly, he gets hollow targeting up, which means that whoever else is finishing the guy off will be able to do so fairly easily. Okay. So we're going to have Matt finish this guy off. Good riddance. I'm going to double check that I have the ability I think I do. Yep. So as long as Tara can drop this guy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she has a two out of three chance to drop this guy in one hit. Uh, I'm going to keep her back here so she's in a decent covered position regardless. But she should be able to kill this guy. Trigger implacable. There we go. I, I'm assuming that's going to be the rest of the enemies right there. But then she gets implacable, so she gets to move back. <laughs> Which is the important part.
The automatic camera work uh, on this level has been dubious thus far. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Lancer's gonna move up. Terra's got a ridiculous dodge rate. Actually, no, I took the Wraith Armor. Never mind. Brian's using Wraith Armor. She has a still a fairly good dodge rate, but not perfect. <laughs> Teleportation. It's taking a shot at. Oh, they're doing their uh, ammo drain. Hit three guys. That could probably be worse. Fortunately, they don't have a lot of good places with cover to move into. Let's see, did Matt lose ammo? Yes. Okay, we're gonna move him over here. We're going to reload. And that's go. probably gonna be his turn. Um, she has to get a perfect hit to kill him. Somebody else should be able to come in and finish the job. Let's see what Tony can hit. Just that one guy. It's not even a great shot right now. But it's the shot he's got, so we're going to try it. Awesome. That's good. Death from above means he gets a second action. Unfortunately, it's not going to do us a ton of good. Um, I'm going to toss a battle scanner back here just to make sure we've gotten everything we... No more surprises. Actually... How much does that do? That's a slightly higher chance... Killing him than her regular attack is. No, I'll just move Shane up here somewhere. Yeah, like there. That should be good. Your order. Free reload. Shoot this guy. Possibly kill him. At least get hollow targeting up. Did enough. What did you expect? No, yeah, that's about what I expected. Okay. Hair's hey. gonna move over here. Cover from two sides. Dan. Think that's safe. And a reload. That leaves Brian. Brian's gonna get a better view. Just do a standard overwatch. <clears throat> I 
That thing is needs to get stopped. <laughs> yes, yes, we're losing civilians left and right. We should do something about that, blah, blah, blah. Still armored, but, you know, four damage is four damage. We'll take it. This is probably going to do, yep, the defense matrix thing. There's the Archon that we saw earlier. That thing's going to teleport and probably shoot somebody. No, Overwatch. Nice. Okay, so, first things first. Break this thing's Overwatch. I don't want to worry about that for the rest of this. Unfortunately, that means we're going to have two clones to deal with. I think that clone's gonna get hit with friendly fire uh, when that triggers, but oh well. It won't matter because we're gonna do Treadstorm Cannon. And Terra is implacable. So we get to move her back. Absolutely. Which means Shane can move up. We're gonna finish this sectopod off, hopefully. Almost. Toss me some ammo. Does Brian have lightning hands left? He does not. And he doesn't have does he have death from above? No. Okay, let's see if Tony's got a shot then. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Let's do this. Okay, so now... We'll have Brian take a sniper shot at this Archon. <laughs> Missed, but uh, because of the sniper rifle we've got, he takes three damage anyway. Um, oh, Tony gets a death from above trigger. Unfortunately, he can't get to what we need him to. Let's see. Dan has run and gun, which means he can move to yellow and then shoot. So we're going to move him over here. And shoot. <laughs> you should be able to finish this codex off. Nice. Which means we've... I think we've just got that Archon left. Looks like it's going to melee on Shane. I'm gonna need support here. Shane is wearing Hellweave, which means that guy just took three damage and caught on fire. That was a good decision, apparently. Um, Let's go to our medic first. We're going to heal Shane. We're going to have our two snipers fire down on him first. Actually, we should be good now. Let's just make sure, sure. See if that's all of them. Faceless? Faceless. I figured there might be a faceless. 
Ugh. Too faceless? One down. You want some more? Pistol Overwatch. Um, let's go. Actually, can the blaster bomb reach that? Wow. Tracking target. This might be a really stupid weapon. Hopefully that didn't just knock down the building Brian is standing on. Or at least not completely. Okay. Go heal him. I'm on it. Apparently Shane has visual there, so let's just go ahead and finish this up. We'll wrap everybody up at full health. I'm all out. Menace one five, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. All enemies killed, six turns. Saved nine civilians and only had two wounded. That is a pretty good for a very difficult mission. That felt good. Starting to get a groove back. Keep setting new records on <coughs> kills and attack damage. Obviously can't get higher than 100% there. We didn't miss a single shot. And the most under fire was the Mimic Beacon Decoy. That is awesome. I feel like that was a pretty solid setup for that mission also. I got kind of lucky. Okay. Come on. There we go. <laughs> something something loading screens new computers. I totally didn't even notice them get that. Untouchable. If you kill something, the next attack against you will miss. Rangers are really good. <laughs> Hail of Bullets as a hidden ability is interesting, especially for this, uh... Especially for this, um... It's a guaranteed hit, but you drains all the ammo out of your gun. It's meant, it's actually a, um, a grenadier ability, like on the gunner side. The interesting part with this for him is that even if he drains all his ammo, he's got his pistol stuff. So that'll actually be really interesting. any skilled recruits out there we could always use the help in engineering yeah gonna put ben right back over to the advanced warfare center since we've got two wounded get us 
soldier, but yeah, we don't need soldiers right now. We have, we have, if anything, too many soldiers as it is. We do need an engineer, we do, we could use one more engineer right now. And we've got the psionic gate going. By the way, this is like, I'm pretty sure once we do the avatar, Gateway is primed. Is the subject prepared? Ready. I hardwired what was left of the Codex brain into Rover. It should be emitting the same signal the Codex used to pass through the gateway. Excellent. Let us begin. So I believe this is going to give us the location We've already seen the Codex of the enemy base. In the field. I am sure your device will be fine. Okay. There. We're set to record across all spectrums. Remember, go in, take some quick readings, then come right back through. Okay? She really likes her robot. Whoa. Are you seeing this? It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power. <laughs> Doesn't look like any place we've been before. Or any place on Earth, for that matter. Perhaps this is the source. The alien's seat of power, if you will. Secure beyond any physical limitations. Only one way to find out. Go on. We're counting on you. Okay, this is actually kind of a cool cutscene. That is definitely not fine, Doctor. The process did work. There was an instant where the device was in between locations. However, once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature, an organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. If the codex creates the door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. We would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report our findings to the commander immediately. There we go. One more down. We are now prepared to autopsy the body of the powerful being we recovered, commander. I feel that we may be on the cusp of attaining a complete understanding of this avatar we have long sought. This creature represents a near perfect fusion of human and elder DNA. Though remarkable, it appears as if the creature were unfinished. Perhaps why we were able to ultimately defeat it. Still, this can lead me to only one logical conclusion. Coming through clear. New regional contacts located. Setting course for the Australian Okay. Sector. Moving over here. Keep making contact. Local regional contact.
I'm gonna back out here. Uh, we've got, we actually have some supplies, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and see if I can upgrade the Psy Lab. Psy Lab upgraded. Uh, one of the nifty things here is, um, just because of how this works, we can actually potentially double up on these. So, let's go ahead and have, yeah, let's have James and Brian. Um, so the nice thing with these is side training, we get to immediately just keep buffing them up. They can't gain normal X XP, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and grab Carrie. We're going to put her as a specialist. Again, probably not actually going to come up. I'm mostly just getting these extra people in case something goes horribly wrong. Or in case that we get another one of those missions where we have to defend the ship or something like that. Okay, where am I at? Progress against the aliens. And it sounds like we're starting to get the civilians attention in the colonies. Flamethrower. Sure. I find this acceptable. Let's see here. Do we want to do another one of these, or do we want to grab, like, another war suit, maybe? I really like the war suit. <laughs> and an extra dot of armor's nice. I mean, we lose one slot, but usually we're losing a grenade in exchange for something better than a grenade. So I think we're going to go ahead and do a third one. I'll send word when the project is complete. Okay. And apparently at the very last minute they decided to do this. Okay, well, I think we're going to be doing Operation Cryptic Prophecy, but we'll get to that on the next episode. So, give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, leave any questions or suggestions in the comments, and I will catch you next time. Setting course for Sector 16.